My friend's got this hooked up. This is a new hydrant head from Plummies. Seems like it's gonna be pretty straightforward to take off and pop a new one on. So let's get to fixing. Before you work on your yard hydrant, really you're always gonna to have to shut the water down. And so that is right down there is where we're going. All right. Yeah. So it's what we're changing today, right? We're gonna swap this out. So the problem is, is this actually, it didn't break, it didn't bust, it actually has a tight seal but the head itself rusted out right here and it leaks. All right, first thing we're gonna do is loosen this net up right here. That is gonna allow this rod right here to come out and to actually spin freely. I think you have to take that the whole way out. And then this right here is essentially a packing nut for that rod. There's a couple of O-rings down in here and we are going to loosen that up as well and just allow that to spin freely, maybe. <laughs> okay, so a little bit bigger of a wrench. Oh gosh. All right, well, we'll go with the... No, nah, we're rounding there. Okay, well, I didn't know I'd be pulling out every single open end wrench I have to rock this. Let's see how this works. I don't know. I mean, hopefully that's enough. This is going away anyway, so let's just... <laughs> yeah, we're going to say that that's enough. I mean, it, it's up more than it was. We got a couple of 18-inch pipe wrenches here. I put shackles on the end of ours a lot of times. Why is this, this is gonna make this super easy and you don't have to really do a lot of gripping and prying on this yourself. This is certainly an awkward angle for all this, right? Okay. Get this one right here. And then we just take our come along here and we will Get plugged in right there. Get this plugged in right there. Get that started. And all we're gonna do is slowly just get that moving until that pops off, right? So this is all that work without having to ah, really grip onto it. It looks like it popped off fairly easy. So we probably don't have to do this again, but if you did have to repeat it, well, then you just stretch them back out and just do it again. Um, yeah, grab, yep, if you can grab right there. I just say, I bet that will pop it off. Okay. Just always make sure you use a backup wrench. Um, yep. Okay. So we've got this head right here. All we need to do is detach this. And you can see that's where we're rolling right there is we're going to end up connecting this rod to this piece right here. We don't even have to, we can skip the rest of that part because honestly we couldn't get it out anyway. So, and then we'll get it hooked up. You don't think it's going to work? This rod? Yeah. I mean, the threads. Oh, well, what? <laughs> that's it. We're going to see. Steve doesn't Steve doesn't believe it's happening. It's Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's all right. We can edit. We can do whatever. Oh, yeah, dude. Like butter. <laughs> okay. Those actually look really good, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll just go to right there. Snug. Cool. Before we put this back together, we're gonna put a little Teflon, a little pipe dope on here.
So now we've got all this loose. You have this loose, and now we're going to go ahead and we're gonna spin this on. We'll just go hand tight, and then we'll tighten it down with some wrenches. Grabbed a big old squirrely boy here. Oh yeah, it'll go. I think we're going to opt instead of the thumb screw setup, we're going to mm -hmm. opt for this square. Mm -hmm. And I think it is a better setup. These O rings right here is essentially the packing nut, right? Just don't want that to leak. And we'll adjust this a little bit more in a minute. We'll just get it a little bit tight for right now. All right, dude, go ahead. Just slowly. Yeah, cool. A little more. Oh, is it? That's all the way on? Oh. That's in okay. The all right, well, let's shut that down. <laughs> what happened? It came out more when it was off. Yeah. So let's go What's ahead and... Rod. Yeah, just a rod. Oh, okay. We'll go to this right here. Okay. Tighten it up there. And then... Yeah. Let's tighten it up. We'll drop it, and then we'll do it again. Okay, and we'll pop that up. Oh, I see. Give that a little, a little more here. That's probably it. Eh? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Open this up, wow. and now we'll drop this packing nut down just a little bit more. Nothing crazy. See how that rolls. Good tip with this little set screw yeah. is to have it up, tighten it down, bring it down, get it to where it's seated in place, loosen this up, put it in place, and then tighten it down where you want it. And that's going to guarantee you you've got a good seal right there. And we're back in business. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Worked out pretty well, man. All right, folks. So there we go. We're good to rock and roll. We got the new hydrant head installed. Everything works doesn't leak we are good to go i really hope you folks found this video useful if you could please subscribe click that like button we'd love to have you keep coming back this actually worked out very well super simple a couple little tweaks we were back to rocking and don't forget to add those shackles to your pipe wrench with a come along certainly will help you take things like this off a lot faster and easier without the wear and tear on your body thank you very much and we'll see you again real soon